Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Moni Joe and I speak on the issues concerning international students and intending international students. Don't forget to click on the video description for all the links to the Telegram group, to the, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my email address, and the link to Amber Students. To my new subscribers, welcome to this family and my old subscribers. Thank you for staying with me. So today, we just took a walk to the African market yeah so this african market is actually situated in all around issue nine yeah issue nine is like getting 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 <laughs> um submerged with international students from nigeria mostly so this is an african market that actually sells things from that that we'd love to eat in nigeria yeah so i'm going to be just showing you what is available in the uk and how you're gonna have to trim your appetite to what is actually available here if you're coming to an university of or, or any part of the uk actually so it depends on where you are you can actually just use google to check the closest african market closest um closest to you yeah so you can see planting this different type of fishes, frozen fish, that's cash fish, and that's going for ten pound for two point five kg. Yes, everything here is according to your weight. Yeah, so you can see there's needle. We have this picnic, but I think this one is produced in Ghana. Yeah, most of these things are produced, not really Nigerian one, but then it's all good. It's all the same. So there's custard for those of you that have children. There's golden moon or normal milk. Yeah, glucose peanut. Butter. Butter, but I prefer to buy my peanut butter in this bigger supermarket. I think I like the test more. And then there's this Milo. That Milo, I think, is from Ghana. It's not the one we have in Nigeria, though. And guess what? This malt, these drinks that we usually buy in traffic. Oh, goodness gracious. And it's actually very, very affordable here yeah, in, in this um this African market. So I'm seeing sardines and I'm seeing different type of um local um custards is that indomie yeah they're different indomies although that indomie is uh, made from ghana too it's not really nigerian type but yeah it serves the same purpose so i'm seeing this mortar guinness and it is bliss like i was thinking when i drink it there'll be some difference is that puff puff mix yeah so normally what would you just have in this uk is um something you just it's already made like pre-processed you just wait to hard water mix it and then start frying and then there are different things here you can see all this palm oil yeah the issue i have with the palm oil is that it's not like the one we have in nigeria i'm so not so sure because most of the things here they are from ghana even this gary self you see ghana gary and all of that ghana beans ghana this ghana that but i think yeah uh, yeah it's good so these are the type of thin tomatoes we use here but i buy my own thin tomatoes from the big supermarket because it's cheaper but when i'm missing home then i can just buy thin tomatoes and that's uh, maybe my gear from from the african market yes so these are the cell the i go see and then we have this they are pando and all of that so these are the thin tomatoes and the spices available this african song they are very good producers they produce like almost everything we eat around here and so these are these local ingredients locals beans um these that that so many things that you need to cook your traditional food especially your food and that's abasha yeah that abasha is going for 10 pounds mm, it's really really expensive yeah because if you want to change the currency so that's banga the way we do banga here yeah, it has to be in container like that like thin tomatoes here yeah. so you just buy your banga spices from home and then this one is already extracted you just put it in put your meat and you yeah already in there they just buy pando so when i want to feel african i do all that and it's actually does come out well so these are different type of frozen meat and chicken although what we do now in all is that we like buying in bulk yeah so we don't really buy in retail like this. We have uh, places we could just buy in bulk and just buy carton of um, um, plantain and we share it amongst ourselves. Like two people can share a carton of plantain. It's cheaper, it's more. I think the one I just did yesterday, a, a, a half carton of, of um, plantain, I think I bought for £15. Whereas if you wanted to buy it here, they'll just tell you about four. It's for £5, four plantains, £5. 
that one I bought is about almost um, 38, I'll be 40 plantains. That is 15 pounds instead of four for five pounds. So you see the difference. So um, these are normal spices we have in Nigeria. And as I said before, when you're missing home, you just have this. Is that Kilishi? Yeah, I've actually tested it. And this is really looking, looking good. So that's like what I was telling you the other, um, the other time. Yeah, so they actually do have it here. But you might not like the combination. So that's why I say you just bring it on. You can see the way it's dried. It's just for you to put water when you are arrive here yeah. so these are different leaves they have here yeah, vegetable pumpkin and all of that yeah are you seeing that fanta yes we actually buy fanta with um the bottles so it's not like um return bottle for me or not like that so these are just your detox tea but i prefer to buy um use the detox tea i bought from nigeria so if you use detox a lot yeah you have this constipation issue and all of that tummy issues buy your 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 detox tea from nigeria buy a lot of it the one i bought then is still lasting me all right so these are all that kind of um like maize meal pando yeah different mix and all of that as i said this african sun is the biggest producer so that's coconut water for your coconut rice and all of that and um yeah so just pretty much everything local yeah everything local that's what they sell in this african market and they actually and a lot of them i think i know about five of them in in all year we have one in issue nine one in issue three one in issue five one in um issue Issue uh, no, I think that's all that I can remember. I think they should they have about two there and all of that. So these are real dried fish, real dried fish that you eat with gari. Yeah, salt gari. Yeah, they have side gari too. So that's a grounded pepper. This is real catfish. It's really, really dried. So I have the grounded pepper, this booger fish, the stock fish. So these are the sell it's already packaged. So all you just have to do is to look at the price. That's almost five pounds. That stock fish. It's five pound is ten pound so you see that nine ninety nine is ten pound so this is crayfish semo yeah 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 in fact i'm hungry for swallow right now <laughs> Yeah, I think they also have this floor. You can use try to use to do um um Santana too. So if you like Santana like I am, yeah, I'm a consumer for that. So you'll you'll be so good to go. And um don't forget the air products, yeah. So if you're thinking oh my um Vaseline, my my carotun oh, carotun is not needed here, it's actually really not needed because the weather is already cool so if you use cartoon it means that you're just, just bleaching uh, although you might not have sunburn but it's not nice but other creams are out there your skin oil your air cream irish spring irish spring i've not seen it to buy in any any supermarket in this uk so me seeing the african market here yeah, i'm actually happy and then this um your beaver air relaxer although i don't use it this is what i actually just bought the anti-dandruff yeah because i've started making my hair again yeah. So I'm no longer carrying low cuts. I'm not in Nipple League again. <laughs> so the, I usually use um olive oil to relax my hair, but I'm going to be carrying my hair like some virgin air right now, so I'm not going to be relaxing. So for your children, these are relaxers for them, for the uh, body cream, the soap. So everything is all it's all gear in this African market. That's why I actually like patronizing this guy okay so these are living conditioners and everything for an african air you know our hair is usually uh because it's not usually relaxed and all of that don't mind that my son there i don't know where he's climbing to yeah okay back to what we were saying so these are relaxers for children your girls and all of that and that that's honey your nail cleanser yeah i love this relaxer a lot so i use it a lot for my hair and it's it doesn't make your hair brown so I like it. And yeah, the attachments. So I actually took the um, color green after after this video. So the attachment actually went for five pound ish. So I suggest that if you like baking attachments, you should just buy a lot. Buy a lot of colors, you know. Those of you that have been working in banks and working in, in schools that they'll tell you only black hair, only black hair. When you come to the UK, you can now explore your colors. <laughs> You'll be seeing people carrying pink hair, brown, black. Uh, nobody's carrying black egg, you know, uh, red, uh, gold, 
orange there's no color white i using white there they actually easy to make it and it is so beautiful you know the freedom when you've been working you're a working class for years and you've been carrying only one monochrome hair like that but now you can explore colors huh? the bliss so this is stuff for your your yeah um just normal eating stuff yes take away milo cube uh is that bedroom slippers yeah we have them all here uh boniki paints and all of that nail paints are being nail contest <laughs> and then we have all these things for her yeah this particular milo is the one from nigeria the one with rubber head but the one with that um pangolo head yeah that thin head is not nice so that's the sponge local sponge that's our turning gary what iron sponge the iron sponge you can actually get it to buy in big supermarket for cheap away and then you have the score caps the combs the scissors the brush for hair that kind of must go that thick one yeah that ash one so these are say like for your children because they don't actually have it here so you just have to make up your mind to be buying african markets yeah for the for the child you know when your child's like um six months upward yeah so we actually have yams here the yams usually old yams and this is our gay gay bread don't try to uh i don't even touch try to not press so that's our gay gay bread fresh tomatoes that fresh tomato i usually go to um fruit shop to buy too and then you have this our biscuits our granite cashew nuts and what have you so these are great snacks that you could just peanuts yeah these are great snacks that you could just use and feel okay all right so that's all for today i just said let me just show you all what it's like buying things an african market yeah yeah it's expensive because like you're earning 10 pound per hour and now you have to buy just one fish for 10 pound you have to buy just one pando for 10 pound nine pound you understand so it's actually expensive yeah what is considered expensive is um less expensive is if your 10 pound per hour job you can just use for one hour one hour job that's like 10 pound per hour you can actually use it to buy many things but when you're using it to buy just one thing it's it's termed expensive so that's all when you come to the uk um when your your stuff you bought from nigeria or from africa actually runs out so just know that you're secured all right so thank you all for watching don't forget amber students they actually take care of all accommodation needs for international students so just click on the link beneath this video description and a customer care representative is on ground to attend to you thank you bye mm -hmm.